We got Black Bay. We got Blue Bay. Some of you guys want this to be your bay. <laughs> See, we got Tristan. What is going on, guys? It's Brandon Jay, and today I've got a really awesome adventure for you guys. If you watched the video previously, you know I came out to this beautiful spring here in Florida. I did a bunch of searching through the forest and found a bunch of bottles and trash. But, but, <laughs> but I wasn't there, so... So now it's, it's better. It's much better. So, so today we're gonna be at the same spring. However, we have a totally different strategy. I did want to bring Tristan along. You might see we only have one jet ski. Uh, Tristan didn't want to bring his jet ski down to Florida. So today we're gonna be riding my new jet ski together. However, we're not gonna be going up north where all of the forest and stuff like that is. We're gonna be going to the community area where all the different houses are on this system. And we're gonna be searching the water basically in people's backyard. So we're probably gonna find a ton more stuff. Before we even get started on today's adventure, I get a bunch of questions on how I set this jet ski up. So uh, I'm going to go over it real quick. Up here, we have the fish finder, AKA GPS satellite type deal. We've got a Mountain Dew, of course. We've got the camera there. Tristan and I are going to be sharing these seats up here. I actually have all of our gear on the back here. So we've got my bag here. We've got all of our fins. We've got Tristan's bag. And I actually made a dive flag today out of a fishing pole. So it's like a little fishing rod that I turned into a dive flag. It should be the perfect setup for today's adventure we're not going to be able to go very fast because all of this is a no wake zone due to all of the manatees and wildlife that go through these streams but with that being said we're going to put the jet ski in the water Tristan and i are going to try to fit on this thing without flipping it over we're going to go through the canals and see what we can find today all right guys so there is the river where we go up and it's all nature right down here you can probably see a couple houses i'm just going to follow the gps here and it's going to lead me through all these different canals but it's crystal clear water just like last time. It's freaking beautiful here, man. I love it so much. Giant manatee right here. Really big. Oh my goodness. Already. We haven't even gotten anywhere, man. Guys, I don't know if you can see, but she's right here. She's doing a big circle under us right here. She's giant, right? We got some stuff right there. All right guys, so as we've been driving through the canals, I've been setting a bunch of waypoints on the GPS. And uh, every time we saw something, I dropped a pin and we have reached the very worst spot. There's a bunch of cans and stuff here. So Tristan and I are gonna go ahead and hop in. It's gonna be our first spot where we're gonna find some treasure and uh, see what all we can get out of this little canal. Everything I find, I'm gonna put in this bag and uh, we're gonna throw all the trash away. So let's see what we can find down here. There's so much. So I pulled up to a place where Tristan was. You guys are not going to freaking believe just how much stuff there was on that run this whole bag right here this is a giant bag and i probably have like 20 cans uh i got some goggles some all types of crazy stuff i found but got a lot of trash a lot of aluminum out of just this one canal so i'm gonna pick tristan up we're gonna roll to the next spot and see what we can find so far we've got a ton of freaking trash tristan's right over here i got booby beads what do you got? Booby beads. <laughs> you got some beads? <laughs> hey, look, there's a really nice puppy right there above you. Puppy! Hey, bud. There's Another two. Puppy? One, two. Where? Oh, hey, baby. Oh, my goodness. Hey. I love them. All right, so GPS says we got a couple waypoints up there, so that's where we're going to go. Every time I come here, I'm blown away by just how unreal there is a giant snook again right here. I'm on a few snook again right here, man. They're just monsters. This place is just it's the most unreal environment ever <laughs> in between all these houses. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there are a bunch of mangrove snapper just chilling right there, like right under me. 
All right, I'm gonna hop in here. I don't know if there's any treasure here, but there's a ton of mangroves, so uh, mangrove snappers. So I'm gonna see if I can swim with them. It's like a school of a hundred right here. Nice little pair of goggles. Just gonna toss them right there. We both found uh, a lot of cool stuff, a bunch of trash. Tristan actually got some really good finds. So now we're just gonna make our journey, continue going through <laughs> people's like canals and backyards pretty much. We're about to make our turn into the new canal. It looks like it's gonna be a good one. Look at this sandbar, man. This water is unreal. For the safety of your jet ski, we're walking. <laughs> <laughs> it's super freaking shallow. <laughs> I feel like we're back in Columbus. <laughs> I know, I know. This reminds me of like the uh, the canal the canal days where we just walk, but basically it's so freaking shallow right here, and uh, we have so much gear on the ski. We didn't want to suck up sand, so. We're gonna walk down not this to, canal. Not to mention two grown men. <laughs> yeah, we, we got a lot of weight on there, so we're gonna walk. It gets a little deeper down there. We're gonna hop on, but this is how you get to the good spots. Hopefully it pays off. <laughs> we're getting to the juice spots. <laughs> I wanna tell you guys, thank you, because we, we Tris and I both just looked at each other. We are like, man, this is freaking cool. Like what we're doing right now, walking down this canal, the stuff with the jet ski is all freaking so insane. And it's because of you guys. So I wanna say thank you guys so much for your support. I know we're like in the middle of the video in the middle of the journey, but Tris and I both just had a moment. We were like, dude, we get to do some awesome stuff, man. So it's, it's all thanks to you guys. It's so much fun. It's so much fun, man. Like we literally get to live our dream every single day. We get to ride jet skis. We get to walk jet skis. You guys have seriously changed Brandon's life. And your life. Working and on it. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> So, you know, click that link in the description. Uh, <laughs> Look at that. Oh, beer bottle. Let's hop in and get that. Might as well. I'm hopping in, brother. All right, where's it at? Where's it at? Right here. Oh my God. Oh. You, you wanna, uh, you wanna bud light, brother? No, sir. You good? I'm good. All right. <laughs> Dude, it smells so oh, bad. Oh, I can smell it. You can see just, you hear okay, that? Okay, see, that's gross. That's disgusting. All right, let's put it in the back. All right, so we just made it to the next spot. Did a little bit of driving. I found this spot in the canal that I really liked. It's kind of like a bin, so you can see there's like, there's water over there, and then it comes around a corner to over there. So uh, I'm gonna hop in the water right here. There's a ton of fish here, but uh, also, I thought there is some current here, so maybe like it can get caught in the bin. Tristan is already in the water over there. He beat me to it. I had to tie the anchor off and everything, but uh, we're gonna hop in the water, see what we can find. It's already been a good day. Tristan has found some really good stuff. I found some cool stuff as well. And uh, I am so surprised how perfect this little dive fly is working connected to my micro fishing rod. This is great. We're gonna hop in the water, see what else we can find today. See, you can see like under all these docks, man. Like if there's something lost, you're gonna see it. That's what's crazy about this place. All right guys, so we just made it to the last destination. I wanna take Tristan here. He's never seen anything like this or been in anything like this. It's one of the most unique places I've seen. Um, there's this beautiful river that just goes all the way through here and then there's this giant hole 
Um, it's like 125 foot at the bottom or something like that, but it's extremely deep. Uh, there are a few manatees just kind of like hanging out in the area. We did see a mom and a calf. Tristan's gonna go ahead and hop in there, swim around. I'm gonna go ahead and join them, but uh, there's a few manatees. We're gonna give them their space, but it's gonna be awesome to share the water with them today. Oh yeah. <laughs> Wow. Oh, home sweet home we are. We made it. We made it. Boom. I don't know how we made it, <laughs> but we freaking made it. Oh. We didn't even tip once. Yeah, we didn't flip over, dude. Look up those. High five. <laughs> that was good, man. All right, guys. Well, that is going to wrap up today's video. We made it back to the dock. Tristan is absolutely freezing. It's super cold out here. Um, we did find some good stuff. I've got a ton of trash right here. I personally got a whole bunch of trash out of today's finds. I did get some beer bottles, got some cans, got a couple pair of goggles. Nothing too amazing for me, but when you have a place that's this beautiful, finding this much trash, getting it out, and making sure this place stays just as beautiful as it is now is really important to me. So I'm glad I got all that stuff out. Tristan actually found some cool stuff. <laughs> Guys, he's shivering right now. Uh, I'm gonna have his channel linked in the description below. Uh, if you want to see all the stuff he found, make sure you go down there, check it out. Personally, the manatees are my favorite part. They're just such big, majestic creatures. They're just, on, they're honestly sea cows. That's what their nickname is. They just kind of crawl around. They're just big. They move slow. But it was also really cool going through all of the different canals and using my GPS to kind of like know where we're going, know where we should go. That thing's really coming in handy. I can't wait to use it for all of my next treasure adventures. If you guys want to see what I'm doing next on the channel, make sure you subscribe. If you guys are already subscribed, make sure you turn on those post notifications so you're notified every time I do some crazy adventure just like this. All right. Well, I think that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you show some love, drop a thumbs up and and as always, I will catch you guys on the next adventure. Hopefully, where me and Tristan are not sharing the same jet ski. <laughs> Peace out, guys.